Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Insightly to WooCommerce in 2024. So Insightly, of course, is a powerful CRM tool and integrating it with your WooCommerce account can help you streamline your customer management and sales processes. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to set up this integration. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you can see whatever you want. And of course, you will need to go and open both WooCommerce and Insightly. So just go to the URL section, simply just type Insightly as an example, so Insightly.com and hit the enter button. This should take you right away to the home or main screen of it. And the same, of course, will be to with WooCommerce. So you will need to head up to WooCommerceExample.com. So WooCommerceExample.com, hit the enter button, and you'll need again to log in into your account. So make sure to do the same on both options, on WooCommerce and Insightly as an example. So here, I'll continue the Google, so I don't have to go through all the boring steps. And the same will be for WooCommerce. Okay, for WooCommerce, it seems I'm already logged in, so I'll just go and continue with that. Of course, as you can see, you can use those options if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. And as you can see, we already logged in. So basically, to connect to these two, we will need a third-party integration tool. In this video, I'll use Zapier. Uh, for you, of course, you can use a lot of options such as Zapier, Automated.io, and Tigromate, a lot of options. So it's up to you to choose whatever you want. So, of course, as we said for me, I'll choose Zapier. So I'll just go and open a new tab, go to zapier.com, hit the enter button. Make sure to log in into an account if you have an account, as an example, more than logged in. So for you, if it's your first time, you'll be taken here. So you'll be able to log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll need to go and create a new one. As you can see, you can use those options to create or even log in into your account. So yeah, the first thing that we'll need, of course, is go to Insightly. Oh, of course, I did not finish logging in here. So because we will need to get our API access or API key from uh, like Insightly. So how to do that? Basically, go to your profile at the top right corner, click on user settings, and here, scroll down and you'll find your API key. You can generate a new one if you like, as an example, it's got leaked or something like that. It's up to you. Uh, because this should be like uh, for you, it should be secured just by you. No one should have access to it. And of course, once you uh, have access to that or once you copy it, just click on generate a new one if you want, or you can simply just copy this. Just go and copy it. Then go to this list panel, click on apps, and we will need first of all to look into Insightly. So, Insights, Leah. So, for example, I'll just type Insightly. As you can see, you'll find this here. For me, it's already connected, but for you, all you need to do just click on connect. And as you can see here, you'll have to enter your API key. You can find your API key on user settings. Of course, if you didn't open that, you can simply just click in here and they'll take you right away into that page. As you can see, you'll find your API key in here. So the same right here. All you need to do, as we said, just go copy that, enter it right here, then click on yes, continue to Insightly. And this will make it connected. As I said before, it's already connected to me or for me. And other than that, of course, uh, you'll have to do the same with WooCommerce. So go back to apps in here and make sure to log in into your WooCommerce account. So WooCommerce account, as you can see in here, so I'll just go and click on connect. And as you can see here, you will have to enter three stuff. WordPress site URL. So to do that, of course, you will find it on your WordPress dashboard, sign menu, settings, general screen, then copy the site URL, address URL, enter it right there. After that, you'll have to enter the WordPress username. As you can see, the username or email address you use to log into your WordPress. And after that, WordPress application password. You can create an application password on WordPress and then enter it right here. Of course, if you click on it in here, they'll show you exactly how to create that application password. So you can simply just follow this quick guide and they will show you how to do it. Once you're done with it, once you fill up all those informations, as you can see, as all of them are required, so you'll not be able to skip any of them, then click on yes to continue to work com uh, to WooCommerce and you will find this connected as well. Now, it is the time to connect WooCommerce, since we connect WooCommerce to Zapier and Insightly to Zapier, it's time to connect WooCommerce with Zapier. So I'll just go here to this list panel, click on create Zaps, of course, I want to create a Zap, and I can start choosing the trigger, and the action of the trigger, and of course, the action and the action of the action. So, uh, or the events of the trigger and the events of the action. 
Or if you don't want to fail us manually, of course, you can simply just type it here in this copilot. It will help you out. So, as an example, you can type connect uh, WooCommerce, as an example, to WooCommerce to Insightly. So, uh, Insightly, as an example, simple as that, and hit the enter button. And as you can see, as well, creates like everything for you the trigger, the action. Of course, you can edit whatever you want. So, for example, when I receive a new order, Insightly will create a record. Okay, like that, of course. You can add the like all the steps to Zap if you want to. As through here, you can add just this example. You want to change this one, you can simply tell them to change it. And of course, yeah, I'll just for me uh, do that. So now, once you add those steps, you'll need to solve those issues, those like red uh, or gray like triangles. So of course, here as you can see, they'll tell me that I'm not logged in yet. So I'll have to go and click on sign in and sign in into my account using this. For me, I did not do it. Why? Because I'm hosting like my WooCommerce or WordPress in a local host. So I'll not be able to give the username and password and uh, URL. Of course, I have it, but I'll not be able to have those so for you you'll need to enter your information for me as i said before i have wordpress in just my local host so i'll not be able to do it so for you once you sign in of course you'll need to test the trigger of course the or the event of the trigger as an example so here i choose or the copilot choose uh, the action or the event of the trigger is an order when i receive a new order so i can change that to booking to a coupon to a new customer to new product, to new subscription, whatever you want, or user membership, whatever you want. Then, of course, the last step, you'll have to test everything out. If it's working, you'll find a check button. And the same will be for Insightly. You'll have, of course, to connect your accounts. As you can see, it's con uh, for me, it's already connected. So check a button here. Now the action, you want to choose which action you want. Of course, that action will change depending on the event that you choose here. So do you want to create a, uh, like a record, update a record, or find a record, whatever you want. So example, the action here changes because I choose uh, find a record. If I choose here, update a record, the action will change. So keep that in mind. So example, maybe here, comment, and maybe here, example, uh, I don't know, whatever it is. For me, I have nothing, of course, because like my like free trials already ended and I don't have anything like specifically there. So for me, I'll just go here and find, let's see if I'll have to type stuff. So yeah, search by ID records, search like value. Of course, you can uh, complete the step of WooCommerce so you can complete this step also. So yeah, after basically once you finish everything, just click on... Uh, of course, you'll find like a check option and you'll be able to test it right away. So for me, I'll just let us create a record and I'll basically just type here some random stuff as an example. So the body, of course, yeah. So you need to connect WooCommerce here to finish this step. So basically, you'll need to finish this. Then you can go here. And once you finish, you'll be able to test out. Once both eyes have been this check option instead of the triangle, a great triangle, and you sh you'll be able to publish it. And even you did not even connect WooCommerce to Zapier, or oh, sorry, WooCommerce to Insightly, but you already like automate uh, some stuff together. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.